My health, my knowledge, my way. Introducing Leanne, Becky, Louise, Moya. Welcome to the next podcast from the Doncaster Learning Disability Health Action Team for those living in and around the Doncaster area. Today, we are going to discuss constipation and if you are having problems, going for a poo. Some people with a learning disability are more at risk of constipation than the general population. Reviews into the deaths of people with a learning disability have shown us that too many people are dying from constipation. So what does this uh, mean, Leanne, and why is it important? So if you're having problems going for a poo, it can make you really ill and it can be life-threatening. If you have not had a poo for three days or more, it is very important to speak to someone. This can be your family, your carer, a doctor or a nurse, and this could save your life. Signs that you may be having problems having a poo can be not feeling very hungry, feeling sick, having tummy ache, your tummy is bloated or bigger than normal, your tummy feels really hard, pooing your knickers or underwear, seeing blood in your poo. Contact your doctor or nurse who will give a prescription for some medications called laxatives. Do not stop taking your medications without talking to the doctor first. If the medications don't appear to be working, again, contact your doctor and explain this. They may try a different medication or a poo softener. So, asking for help can be hard. Talking about poo for some people is a bit embarrassing, but remember, everybody does it. And here are some toilet tips. Try and relax when you're sat on the toilet. This will help your, your poo to come out and not be as painful. If you put your feet on a low stool and lean forward, that helps because that's the natural way that the poo comes out of your body. So... As long, uh, along with that, what can we do to help us have a healthy poo? Louise, what can we do around eating? Eat plenty of fruit and veg. Yeah, that's really good because a lot of fruit and veg contains fibre. What else has got fibre in it, Louise? Brown pasta, brown wine. Yeah, they're good choices to make. And you can also think about brown or wholemeal bread. How much water should we try and drink, it's Louise? Too late. Glasses a day. Yeah, the more water we drink, the more it'll make it easier. And is exercise important? Yeah. Yeah, what should we try and do? Walk more. Move more, yeah. Walking, anything that you like to do is really good and it'll help your bowels to keep regular. So what we want for you to remember is that having a healthy poop can save your life. Talk to somebody if you're having problems. Don't be embarrassed. You'll have seen those adverts on telly telling people, you know, not to be embarrassed. Doctors have heard it all before. Sometimes, though, when we go to the doctor, it's helpful for us to take some information. So we could take a bowel monitoring chart, and this can be a paper chart, or it could be on an app if you're right, right tech savvy, not like me. Because this will help you to be sure when you last went for a poo or what changes that have been happening. And you can share this record with your doctor if there are any big changes or that you're worried about anything. Please remember to see the newsletter. We're going to talk about monitoring charts or apps on those newsletters so you'll be able to have a look at those. And remember, if you've not seen the new health passport, we've got the Bristol Stool Scale, which tells us all about the different types of poos we might have, is in your new health passport, so that helps people to recognise we're going to talk about the new health passport in a future podcast, so keep listening, won't you? Bye for now. Thanks. Bye. Bye.